Hi world! Hello everybody! Hello my wonderful, beautiful, awesome, amazing, loving and caring people! How are you? How are you? Really? How are you? How are you guys doing? It is summer. Are you excited about summer? I am excited because it's always a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, magical and amazing day to be alive. And I am thankful and I am grateful and I hope that you guys are too. Right? Because every day is a good day. Once we have life, there is hope. Once we are breathing, there is nothing we can't achieve. Right? So guys, with that said, let me send you love, peace, happiness, joy, abundance in all good, wonderful and amazing things. Receive peace of mind now. Receive healing to your heart, your mind, your body and your soul. All you have to do is just believe. Yes, guys. And thank you guys for the support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for subscribing. And for those of you who haven't sub subscribed as yet, please click the bell down below and turn on the notification bell so that you can know when I post a video. And guys, thank you again for everything. And I hope that you guys are taking everything one step at a time and one day at a time. Nothing good comes easy. We just have to be grateful and thankful for everything and take everything in small strides until we get where we want to be and where we need to be. Right? And I am excited. It's summer! Besides summer, I am always excited about Christmas too. Well, I'm, I'm always excited about every day, but summer and Christmas is a little special, you know? I love those, that wonderful time of the year. Yes, guys. So, guys, I hope that you are doing great. I know a lot of you are going through a lot of stuff. One step at a time. One day at a time. Okay? And with that said, let me jump into chapter 16 of the same book, You Can Do It, by John Mason. And chapter, I'm just excited, guys, about summer. I don't know, I'm just always excited about these beautiful days. And like I said, I was staying optimistic that better is coming. And don't we see that the time is changing and everything is becoming happy and blessed once again. We just have to give God time, the universe time to do their stuff because we're grateful and we're here and we're breathing and we're alive so we just have to be thankful and take everything one step at a time and one day at a time okay guys chapter 16 the nose of the bulldog is slanted backward so he can continue to breathe without letting go the nose of the bulldog is slanted backward so he can continue to breathe without letting go. Persistent people begin their success where most people quit. Persistent people begin their success where most others quit. We Christians need to be known as people of persistence and endurance. Now, I am not a Christian. I am just reading this book. It's a lovely book. I am a spiritual person. I am not a Christian. Okay, I do not wear that label. Okay, guys. So, we Christians need to be known as people of persistence and endurance. One person with commitment, persistence, and endurance will accomplish more than a thousand people with interest alone. One person with commitment persistence and endurance will accomplish more than a thousand people with interest alone in hebrews 12 verse verse 1 we read therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance 
the race mark the race marked out for us the more diligently we work the harder it is to quit the more diligently we work the harder it is to quit persistence is a habit so is quitting right persistence is a habit so is quitting never worry about how much money ability or equipment you are starting with just begin with a million dollars worth of determination never worry about how much money ability or equipment you are starting with just begin with a million dollars worth of determination remember it's not what you have it's what you do with what you have that makes all the difference many people eagerly begin the good fight of faith but then forget to add persistence patience and endurance to their enthusiasm josh billing said consider the postage stamp its usefulness consists in its ability to stick to something until it gets there right that's the postage stamp right its usefulness consists in its ability to stick to something until it gets there you and i should be known as postage stamp christians i am a postage stamp spiritual person spiritualist yes <laughs> right you should be known as posting stamp christians in first corinthians 5 15 sorry verse 58 the apostle paul writes therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord your labor is not in vain in the lord right your labor is not in vain in the lord peter tells us wherefore beloved seeing that ye look for such things be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless that second peter verse verse second peter verse three no chapter three verse 14 what's wrong with me i don't know <laughs> and why solomon points out do you see a man skilled in his work he will serve before kings that's proverbs chapter 22 verse 29 oh my hair is sticking out the nose of the bulldog is slanted backward so he can continue to breathe without letting go in the far east people plant a tree called the chinese bamboo during the first four years they water and fertilize the plant with seemingly little or no results then in the fifth year they again apply water and fertilizer and in five and in five weeks time the tree grows 90 feet in height the obvious question is did the chinese bamboo tree grow 90 feet in five weeks or five years the answer is five years if at any time during those five years the people had stopped watering and fertilizing the tree, it would have died. Many times our dreams and plans appear not to be succeeding. We are tempted to give up and quit trying. Instead, we need to continue to water and fertilize those dreams. Nurturing the seeds of the vision God has placed within us. If we do not quit, if we display perseverance and endurance, we will also reap a harvest. By perseverance, the snail reached the ark. That's by Charles Haddon Spurgeon. By perseverance, the snail reached the ark. That's the end of chapter 16. And guys, this chapter is pretty much self-explanatory. I don't have to say much. It is saying that you must not quit. You must persevere in everything that you do. 
once it is aligned with the will of God and with the will of the divine beings of the universe. Don't ever quit. Persevere. Be committed to what you're doing. Not at the first sight of trouble or stress or problems you quit from what you're doing. No. You must persevere in order to be where you want to be and to get where you need to get. Right? Do not quit. Do not give up. Stay strong. Keep fighting and push on. And with that said, let me leave you with love. I love you guys. Peace, happiness, light, and abundance. And enjoy your summer. Do not let anybody prevent you from enjoying your summer. If it, if it is even one day, enjoy one day out of the summer. Okay, guys? Bye.